Today, we are diving into an essential dairy product you might find on your kitchen shelf, skimmed milk powder or SMP. This video will show how skimmed milk powder is tested to ensure it's safe for us to consume at Bureau of Indian Standards, Central Laboratory, Ghaziabad. Whether you are a student or a curious learner, let's explore together. What is skimmed milk powder? Skimmed milk powder is simply milk that's had most of its water content and nearly all fat removed. It's an excellent source of protein, calcium and other nutrients without the extra calories from fat, making it ideal for those looking for a low-fat milk option. Once the skimmed milk powder is produced, it goes through rigorous testing at Bureau of Indian Standards Lab facility to ensure it meets quality and safety standards as per IS 13334 Part 1 2014. Let's take a look at some key tests. Chemical Test Lab analysts carefully measure a precise quantity of the SMP sample using advanced measuring equipment. The sample is then taken to the chemical lab where the testing process begins. Number 1. Moisture Content IS 16072 Sample is dried in an oven at 102 degrees Celsius. The initial weight of the sample is taken and after drying, final weight is taken. The difference in mass tells us about the moisture in a sample. Moisture Content checks water level, which must be low to keep the pod stable over time. Number 2. Total Ash Annex B of IS 14433 The total ash test measures mineral by burning the powder and weighing the leftover ash in a muffled furnace at 550 degrees Celsius. Number 3. Milk Fat Content IS 11721 We use the Grieber centrifuge to measure the tiny amount of fat in SMP. The batarometer is filled with the sample, Grieber acid and amyl alcohol and then closed using rubber caps with key and mixed. Then the batarometer is put into the centrifuge for separation of fat. The separation is based on the phenomena of centrifugal force. Number 4. Protein Analysis IS7219 Protein is one of the main benefits of SMP. The Kadal technique calculates the protein level based on nitrogen content. First, the protein in a sample is digested using concentrated sulfuric acid and then it is distilled and titrated with hydrochloric acid. Number 5. Insolubility Index IS12759 To ensure SMB dissolves easily, this test checks its solubility in water. The sample is dissolved in water at 24 degrees Celsius and then centrifuge. The settled particles should be less than 2 ml. Number 6. Tritratable Acidity Indian Standards 11766 This test measures the acidity of SMP, which helps us check if it's fresh and properly produced. The acidity in the form of lactic acid. It is estimated using the acid-based titration method. The end point is of pink color. Number 7. Scrotched Particles Indian Standards 13500 Scrosh particles indicate the level of heat used in drying. Low scrosh particles means better quality and easier reconstitution. It is estimated on the scrosh particle tester machine. The reconstituted milk is mixed with an anti-foaming agent and it is put into the machine where the disc filter out the scrosh particles and we can compare the disc with the indicator disc. In addition to chemical testing, we perform microbiological tests to assess the micro level quality of SMP. Let's explore the rigorous steps taken to maintain excellence. Number 1. Bacterial Count IS 5402 Part 1 A lab technician prepares a sample in petri dishes and adds a growth medium. This test measures the total number of bacteria. It involves diluting the sample, pouring it into dishes and incubating them to check the bacterial growth. Number 2. Coliform Count IS 5401 Part 1 Coliform count helps us identify bacteria that could indicate contamination, ensuring the powder is produced in clean conditions. Number 3. E. Coil Detection IS 5887 Part 1 in the test of E. coil, a small sample is incubated in a broth. If typical colonies grow, it signals possible contamination. Staphylococcus aureus IS 5887 Part 2 Indian Standards 5887 Part 2 
We also test for Staphylococcus aureus, a bacteria sometimes found in dairy. Yellow colonies on certain plates suggest its presence. Number 5. Salmonella Detection Indian Standards 5887 Part 3 Lastly, we check for Salmonella, a bacteria known to cause food poisoning. Any presence here means the product isn't safe. After the inoculation in respective media, inoculated plates and broth is incubated in BOD incubators at specific temperatures to provide optimum growth condition. Growth of typical colonies and counts is observed after incubation using a colony counter. These processes and tests ensure that every packet of skimmed milk powder you buy is safe, nutritious and high quality. So next time you see SMP in your kitchen, you will know the science behind it. Thank you for watching. Remember, quality standards like IS 1334 Part 1 2014 are here to protect us by ensuring safe, high quality products. Keep learning, stay curious and see you in next video.